Howdy, and welcome to TBK Homeworld. And in this video, we're gonna be asking a very important question. Is the Ryobi 14 inch chainsaw chain just as good as an Oregon? Or will the Oregon blade and bar do better than what comes factory? And the other question we're gonna ask is, are you able to take something like this 16 inch bar and chain or even an 18 inch bar and chain and throw on it and still have it work? I've had this 14 inch chainsaw from Ryobi for quite a while and I have had to sharpen it many times with the still chain sharpener. Now, I really like these things. If you're curious about these, be sure to check out the Project Farm about which chain sharpener is the best. This actually came out on top and I've really enjoyed using this thing. Now, before we're doing this work, this is the original bar and chain that came with this chainsaw. I have sharpened this chain before we're starting this video so it is as optimal as it can be considering its age. Whenever we do this work we're going to be performing three cuts one down one up one down and we're going to be doing that for each chain we want to see if it slows down during the process of doing the work and we're also going to make sure that the extended length of the bar and chain isn't going to cause a problem with the chainsaw slowing down i have four six amp hour batteries we're going to be swapping in a fresh battery each time we start with a new bar that way we absolutely know that the battery is not a factor in here with its peak performance. If you see a bar and chain that you're interested in, you can definitely check out the link in the description below. The 14 inch bar and chain is model 27856. The 16 inch bar and chain is model 27857. The 18 inch bar and chain is 39272. For our first tree, we're actually going to be cutting into an old cedar tree that we've had here. Our first cut for the row be 14 inches 11.74 with our second cut stalling, unfortunately, and it hit an, an abysmal 28.41. And our third cut was 8.51. If we average that out, we've got 16.22 seconds for that. Our Oregon 14 inch chain actually did really good at 3.71 seconds for the first cut, 4.15 seconds for the second cut, and the Oregon 14 inch hit 3.58 for the third cut. That averages out to 3.81 seconds. Next, we have our Oregon 16 inch. The first cut was 3.82 seconds. For our second cut, we hit 4.33 seconds. And then for our third cut, we hit 3.94 seconds for a total average time of 4.03 seconds. Our Oregon 18 inch first cut in the cedar was 4.24 seconds. Our upswing was 4.5 seconds. And our final cut with the 18 inch was 3.74 seconds. That averages us out at 4.16 seconds. So we can tell here that with the cedar, obviously the old Ryobi blade did not do good at all. It's exactly what I was expecting. But we can actually tell that the Oregon 14 inch bar and chain did a really good job. And in fact, it was faster than the 16 or 18 inch on average. So for our second cut, we're gonna be going into this really dense oak tree. And unfortunately, this Ryobi 14 inch bar and chain, it just doesn't cut the mustard. It never has done very good at this. It would have been able to do it whenever I first got the saw, but at the end of a single cut, I would have had to have sharpened this blade. Unfortunately, the Ryobi chains just aren't all that good. For the Oregon 14 inch chain, we hit a 28 second for our first cut. On our upswing, we actually stalled, and so that got us to an abysmal 40.23 seconds. And then unfortunately on our downswing, we had another stall and we hit 57.88 seconds. Our average time for the Oregon 14 inch was 42.04 seconds. For our Oregon 16 inch, we hit 24.35 on our first downswing and unfortunately we stalled it.
on our upswing, we hit 23.24, and again, we stalled the saw out. And our final cut for the Oregon 16 inch, we hit 20.68 seconds. The average time here was 22.76 seconds. Now for our 18 inch Oregon bar and chain, we hit 20.41 seconds on our first cut. On our upswing, we hit 21.63 seconds. And our third and final cut, we hit 19.63 seconds. That averaged out to 20.56 seconds. Now we're starting to see a huge difference between the 14 inch, 16 inch, and 18 inch. It's not only in the time, it's the fact that you have so much more mass that you're slinging around with this. It doesn't stall as bad with that really thick oak. Whenever you have less mass in the chain, less inertia built up, it's going to struggle a little bit more. And that's how come our 14 inch stalled so much and why our 16 inch stalled as well. They still made it completely through the wood, but just understand there's gonna be limitations with it whenever you're using the shorter bars. And last but not least, we're gonna be cutting into this yellow pine two by four. So for the Ryobi 14 inch bar and chain, we hit 1.77 seconds on the first cut. On the upswing, we hit 1.85 seconds. And on the third and final, we hit 1.31 seconds. That averages out for 1.64 seconds. For the Oregon 14 inch bar and chain, we hit one second on the first cut, 0.81 seconds on the second cut, and 0.81 second on the third cut. We averaged 0.87 seconds. For the 16 inch bar and chain, we hit 0.87 seconds, 0.94 seconds, and 0.71 seconds. That averaged us out at 0.84 seconds. And we hit 0.94 seconds, 0.81 seconds, and our third and final cut hit the lowest time of all at 0.67 seconds. That averages out to 0.81 seconds. So what can we learn from all of this data and information that we have seen here? Well, first of all, we definitely understand that the Ryobi chain is not very good. My recommendations to Ryobi, I respect that you sent a chain with the chainsaw, but you should absolutely get your chains from another supplier. All of your saws, including a gas powered 18 inch that I have, and I have an 18 volt and I also have pole saws all of them the chains that come with them are abysmal these should operate significantly better than they do it's because they're poor quality chains so if you want your product adopted more by people if you want people to pick these up for the first time and be impressed you need to get a better quality chain. Now, if you own a Ryobi chainsaw of any kind, or you're thinking about getting into them, one of the first things I would recommend, buy a new chain. The bars are okay, the bars aren't gonna have a problem for you, but I would definitely pick up, at minimum, a new chain for it. The chains make a significant difference, and unfortunately, the quality just isn't there with the stock. Now, the other question is, if you have model 40503 like I do, should you stick with the 14-inch bar and chain, or should you upgrade? really depends on what you're doing. If you're doing just a bunch of sapling work and they're all fresh and they have life to them, then the existing 14 inch bar would actually do really good. But if you're ever in a situation where you're gonna be doing thicker stuff, absolutely pick up the longer bar. The 18 inch did a phenomenal job. The times prove that it can do that and check this little clip out. As you can see here, the 18 inch Oregon bar and chain absolutely demolishes this old dead oak tree. This is hard oak because it's been dead for several years. I was able to push this thing over with a tractor. That shows you how dead this oak is. So that means it's gonna be really rough on the saw and it handled that thing great, no problems at all. So I always question, should I go out and buy an 18 inch or 20 inch Ryobi saw? Well, I'm glad I didn't go and spend that money on one of those saws for the moment because the 18 inch bar and chain that I have on it now, it's gonna stay on it. And 
I now have an 18 inch 40 volt Ryobi chainsaw. Now I'm gonna throw the question over to you all. Now that I've proven that it can do this, do you own one of the 18 inch or 20 inch Ryobi 40 volt saws? If you do, leave it in the comments below and let me know how it is. I still seriously want to get the 20 inch. I like the fact that it has actual metal teeth on the front of it so it will stop kicking out. I like the different aspects of it. It actually has a proper break on it, whereas this one just uses the motor to stop it. So there's other features with it that I like. Let me know in the comments below, especially if you own both of these, which is your go-to? Do you do the 14 inch or do you grab that 20 inch? By the way, for those who are curious, we finally found something good to use the Warrior with. We actually used this to adjust the chain because we went through so many swaps that this actually made it useful. Real quick, don't forget about our giveaway. At 5,000 subscribers, we're gonna be giving this away. Details are down below if you're interested in joining that. Well, thank you very much for coming on this amazing adventure. I really liked doing this one. This was one that I've been curious about myself. I knew that the bar and chain would fit. The question is, did it have enough oomph to actually sling an 18 inch chain around? And wow, were my socks knocked off. So if this is something you're thinking about doing, let me know in the comments below. If this actually finally convinced you that this is something you wanted to do, let me know. Give me a little love and appreciation because obviously I had to drop a little bit of dough on this and a good nice little thumbs up or a subscription would really help us out a ton on the channel. And if you leave any comments, we try to highlight amazing comments like this one. Thank you very much for leaving us that amazing comment. And remember, keep your tools sharp and your batteries charged. We'll catch you on the next one.